I wanted to comment that I'm from Eastern North Carolina and I have a lot of senior citizens in my district that are concerned about this bill. It's, transportation is an issue in Eastern North Carolina and getting people to uh, get the voter IDs and taking care of that issue is just another hoop that they're going to have to go to continue to be voting citizens. The senior citizens are a large percentage of the voters in our state. Um, the other thing I want to comment on is setting us back in North Carolina. I can remember the time when my mother sat around her kitchen table helping minorities learn how to read what was in the preamble to the Constitution so that they could go and vote and recite that at the polls or read it at the polls. And today here we are being set back again where those people who are disenfranchised and are most vulnerable in our community who needs the most support are not going to have it and not going to exercise their right to vote. So I don't want to see us go back to the day when my mother had to struggle to get people ready to vote and enhance their lives so that they, their voice could be heard to the time when people will no longer be uh, amenable to voting because of the constraints that are put before them in order to, to do so. Thank you. Just a thought. If the poll worker's mother comes in and the mother doesn't have an ID, can't vote, let's close it on that. Thank you.